Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Top 10 list. In this video, we are going to be doing the top 10 badass debut duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So for this particular list, I am looking at what I believe are the best and most just badass, for lack of a better word, debut duels that a character has. The eligibility for this list is quite simple. It has to be the character's first duel ever, and they have to just look like a complete boss in the duel, whether it's for creepy reasons or for just dominating reasons. Whatever the reasons are, they just need to look super, super strong. And so, without further ado, here we go. The top 10 most badass debut duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope you guys enjoy. Number 10, Ryo Marafuji vs. Judai, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So early on in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Judai seemed like the character to beat. He was a new student at the academy, but he was clearly a very gifted one. Well, he was undefeated until he ran into the buzzsaw known as Ryo Marafuji, a character that to this day, Judai was never able to defeat in a duel. The first time they dueled each other was the first time that we ever saw Hellkaiser duel anyone, and he absolutely dazzled in this duel. A reason this duel just makes my list is because Judai was shown to be such a strong duelist, and for him to just run into the Kaiser and lose instantly in a very short one episode duel showed off brilliantly how strong Kaiser was and how strong the top of the obelisk blue students were at the academy. It's a great debut for Kaiser. It makes him look super strong and it shows off for the viewers how much room Judai still needs to grow despite being booked as a really strong duelist through the first few episodes of GX. Number 9, I versus Queen, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. So this technically is I's first duel. It's his first duel after becoming a human form, which happened at the beginning of Season 3. And even though we don't see the full duel, I feel like we see enough to just completely understand how powerful and menacing I truly is. Not only does he absolutely destroy Queen, which was awesome because he did it to avenge the Earth Ignis that Queen green lighted to get brutally murdered and dissected on the Soul Technology chopping board, but it showed how strong of a duelist I was on his own without the help of Playmaker. It was a great debut duel for him, and it set the tone for that entire season three as he immediately defeated Queen and put her in a coma that to this day we still don't know if she ever woke up from. Number 8, Don Thousand versus Mizael Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. So it took a while before we actually saw the final boss of Zexel duel, and that was when Don Thousand took on Mizael. Now this is a super short duel, but there's not many things that scream badass more than changing the actual text on the card. When Mizael uses a certain card in order to get him and Don Thousand to draw, trying to take out Don Thousand with himself, Don Thousand just simply and calmly explains to Mizael that he must have activated the wrong card, even though we all know as the viewer that Don Thousand changed the card, and even Yuma is like, what the hell is going on? And so Mizael loses the duel, and in the first ever time we see Don Thousand dueling, we immediately learn that he has the power to change the text of cards and change cards entirely, as if Yu-Gi-Oh! villains weren't OP enough. Number 7, Yuto versus Shingo Sawatari, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. They call him 0-9 Shingo, and I gotta be honest, I absolutely love this duel. I normally like seeing Shingo lose, but this duel had an extra flavor to it, where Yuto being this masked character that resembled Yuya, but clearly wasn't Yuya, even though Yuzu thought he was Yuya, even though the hair color was different. Uh, anyway, Yuto takes on Shingo, and we see our first XZ summon in this episode, and the way that Yuto just walks into into this hideout of Shingo's, beats him up in a duel, and actually causes some minor physical harm to him as well, showed how ruthless and aggressive the duelists from the XZ's dimension are. And at the time, we had no idea if the XZ's dimension was a threat or was an ally, so we were very on edge watching this duel, because even though Yuto didn't seem necessarily like an evil duelist, 
there was a lot of question marks when it came to him. And so seeing this duel, even watching it back, is really, really cool. And it's such a shame what happens to Yuto just a few episodes, or really like 25 episodes after this in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. But this duel, we can celebrate as being a huge dub for Yuto. Number six, Kiru versus Yusei, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. So I'm not the only one that loves their absolutely crazy, unhinged, batshit villain. And that is exactly what Dark Signer Kiru is. Not only in this duel against Yusei do we learn about the backstory of Team Satisfaction and learn about the history that Kiru and Yusei and Crow and Jack all had together, but Kiru actually defeats Yusei kind of realistically, not technically, uh, because I know the D-wheel of Yusei gives out, but Kiru beats up Yusei so hard that Yusei actually has a piece of shrapnel stabbing him in the stomach when this duel comes to an end. This is the only time I've ever seen Yusei super phased and freaked out by an opponent and super phased by a loss, and I feel like for that reason alone, it justifies this duel being super high up it's an incredibly impressive performance by Kiru, and he literally says at the end of this, I'm leaving you alive so that you can bask in the despair and feel the despair that I had to go through, or something along those lines. I might be paraphrasing, but that is just crazy. Such a good debut duel for Kiru. Number five, Phaser versus Yuga, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. So it's not often that the protagonist from an older Yu-Gi-Oh! series duels in a different Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I think we've only seen that with Yugi dueling in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, but it's happened a couple times in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, as Yuga has dueled in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush a few times. Well, well, definitely the most recent one on the list is when he took on Phaser, the new villain of Season 2, and this was such a great debut duel for Phaser. Not only does he shockingly beat Yuga, but he uses the first maximum in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, a mechanic that debuted in Sevens, and a mechanic that we were unsure of if it was ever going to even show up in Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. But not only does he beat Yuga, he actually cards Yuga off and pulls a Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 by essentially killing off the protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. We learn more about Phaser's personality, his ideologies, which are terrifying, and it's just a really crazy duel, and it once again continues the tonal whiplash we've felt watching Go Rush, as Season 2 has been very serious and a lot more grim than most of Season 1 was. It has set the tone for the entire season so far, and this is such a good debut duel for Ryugu Phaser. Number four, Raphael versus Yugi, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. So obviously this one needs to be pretty high because it's not often that Yugi Moto lost a duel, and when he did, it was very noteworthy. Well, this is a pretty insane result because it's one that not many people would have expected, and Raphael, kudos to him. He goes on, and in his first ever duel on screen, he takes on Yugi and defeats Yugi. Now, yes, he does use the coercion of the Seal of Ori Kalkos in order to get this win, but I can't take anything away from Raphael. I'd say this is also one of the most unexpected and just one of the best duels in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, and just looking at it from a character debut perspective, there's not many better debuts you can have in Yu-Gi-Oh! than coming in and just beating the main protagonist. Yes, there is that caveat of the Pharaoh using the Seal of Ori Kalkos, but again, not taking anything away from Raphael. And this duel, to me, just has a lot of accolades because it is such an important and unexpected result. Number three, Nail versus Yuga, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. So the reason I have this one higher than the Phaser one, even though they're both similar in structure, a villain or a main threat of an arc uses a maximum in order to defeat Yuga and blindside Yuga. The reason I have this one a little higher is because of the way that it happened. I still feel like Nail's Maximum Summon is one of the best moments in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! It was a brand new mechanic that nobody had 
any idea was coming, and that's what makes this moment so special. Nail just maximum summons this massive, massive beast that we now know is Yugo Dragon, but when he first summoned it, he just smacks his cards on the dual disc while smiling, staying poised, staying calm, and the effect obliterates Seven's Road Magician, and then Nail goes on to obliterate Yuga, and it was just one of the more jaw-dropping moments in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. It made Nail look like a total badass, and it's one of the best debut duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Number two, Kaito versus Yuma, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Before I start explaining this, I don't even think I need to. Can we hear that whistle real quick? <laughs> if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! and you hear that whistle, you immediately get PTSD flashbacks to this duel. Kaito absolutely dismantled Yuma and Astral in the first time they met up in Zexel. And by the time the no result occurred, because Kaito had to leave in the middle of the duel, Yuma was left crying in the rain because he was just obliterated that badly. It is insanely rare to see a protagonist completely outmatched completely overwhelmed like Yuma was in this duel and it made Kaito look like the best duelist in the world and in my opinion even with Zexel being complete he still is one of the best duelists in all of Yu-Gi-Oh but this duel set the tone for one of the greatest rivals in all of Yu-Gi-Oh that being Kaito it is such a good freaking duel and shows him off in an insane OP way and this duel is one of the best debut duels for a character in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Number one, Shun Kurosaki versus the LDS Trio, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. So I know the drawback to this might be the opponent, right? Because we've had Yuga as the opponent, we've had Yugi, we've had Yuma, we've had Yusei, just going back to the last five entries. But my god, if you've forgotten how crazy good Shun looked in this duel, you've got to go back and watch it. If you've forgotten the emotion that Shun's voice actor, sub or dub, speaks with during this duel, you've got to go back and watch it. This is one of those rare moments in Yu-Gi-Oh! where when Shun takes his turn and summons Raid Raptor Rise Falcon in order to just obscenerate the LDS trio, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up as I watch that final turn. The hatred, the energy, the passion, and just the sheer enjoyment for the viewer to finally see this character formally duel and do it in a way where he takes down three pretty skilled duelists in Hokuto, Masami, and Yaiba was just jaw-dropping in the sequence of events that had happened. And in my opinion, this is the most badass any Yu-Gi-Oh character has ever looked in their debut duel, and it tops off this list for me in the number one position. And guys, that wraps it up. Those are my 10 most badass debut duels in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me know if you agree with my list, and of course, let me know if you think there were any I left off. One that almost made it was Dark Signer Carly versus Divine, but I felt that it technically wouldn't qualify because we had already seen Carly duel, and Dark Signer Carly isn't necessarily a new character. Another honorable mention was Siegfried versus Weevil and Rex. The way he quickly won that duel, similar to Nail without talking about the effects of the monsters was really, really cool. That's probably 11th for me. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I really hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. A special thank you to my Platinum Tier patrons, Goosey Q and Panther J, and to my Diamond Tier patrons, Jesse Wood, Latrell Smith, and Elaine, and to my Egyptian God Tier patron, Pink Penguin. Be sure to check out my Patreon for additional channel perks. Thank you to everybody who is a patron or channel member. You guys help me out tremendously. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! anime content. And I hope you have an amazing day.